Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name is Soleil and I garden in a zone 5B in mid-Michigan and today we're gonna plant some daffodils. I have been looking forward to this day. It's taken me some time to get there. We had to get the fence up and so now we're gonna put some in today. So we've got two different varieties. This year I actually ordered from Longfield Gardens instead of color blends and I have to say I think I prefer color blends. Now, uh, the bulbs do seem to be fine from Longfield Gardens, except for some of them. So let's take a look at what we've got. So first up, I have this bag of Ice Follies daffodils. These are a real traditional daffodil that I just love because they bloom in early to mid spring. For me, they're one of the earliest blooming daffodils that you can get in our area. And they are super hardy. They are white and they have a very small, like mild yellow cup and in the middle and we'll put up a picture of them for you so you can see what they look like but they're very beautiful they grow about 18 to 20 inches tall so they're a fairly tall daffodil as well they make great cut flowers and you're supposed to plant them about six inches deep and six inches apart now i don't do that i actually plant them a little bit less deep i plant them just to the point where I feel like they're underground so that they don't get waterlogged. So they might be just a couple inches deep instead. And uh, I, they turn out great because I have deep clay soil and because of that, they can get waterlogged and I wanna make sure that they don't rot out over the winter. So this is a bag of 100. I've already started planting some of them out, but it's easy to go through them really quickly when you plant like I do. I'll be digging holes using an auger and when I dig those holes, I'll probably be planting three to five bulbs in each one of those. And that way I have a really nice clump of flowers to grow in the spring. They're really showy that way. Now we have a second type of daffodil that I also wanna show you. So this daffodil is called the Narcissus Double Tahiti. And I bought a hundred of these as well. These are super bright. They're a little bit shorter. They are only 14 to 16 inches tall, so a little bit more to the front of the border type of a daffodil, but they are both orange and yellow. And when I say orange and yellow, I mean bright orange and yellow. We're talking technicolor, which is a fantastic thing to have in the spring after you've gone through the dull winter months where everything is just super dull and drab and gray. So I love that. Normally I'm not a hot color you know, type person in the garden, but in the springtime, bring it on. Bring on all of the bright and cheery and wonderful glowing plants. So this one is also supposed to be planted six inches deep and six inches apart, but I'm gonna do the same thing with these. I'll plant several of them in each of the holes that I auger. And these actually bloom in mid-spring, so they're a little bit later than the ice follies. So just as the ice follies are starting to kind of die off and lose their luster, these are going to start to shine. And that's a really nice way to make sure that you have blooms throughout the season is to take a look at when they bloom and plan for successions of blooms so that you continue to have color throughout the spring. All right, now let me show you my auger. So this is a power planter auger and this is pretty much the only time of year that I like to use my auger, which is when I'm planting bulbs because it's really quick and easy to use. I don't necessarily like the noise of the auger, the power, uh, power tools in the garden. I prefer shovels and trowels, but this time of year it's a necessity whenever I'm planting a whole bunch of bulbs. This one I believe is about a four inch wide drill and it's long enough so that I don't have to bend over significantly to be able to use it. And then I just have a chemo drill that uh, I got a couple of years ago. I actually was sponsored uh, at one point they sent these to me and it's continued to work really well for me. I believe I even have a link in the description for you if you're interested in looking at a drill. That's not a DeWalt drill. I know everybody on YouTube uses a DeWalt drill. Not me, I've got a chemo and you can use any type of drill as long as it's got enough power to keep the auger going. That's the important thing. All right, well, we're gonna bang out some holes in this garden and then we're gonna plop the daffodils into this and cover them up. So let's get going.
Now when I plant these, I'm going to make sure that I group these just by the type of daffodil that they are. I don't necessarily like to mix the type of daffodils into the same hole because I think that it kind of, I don't know, it's a really nice natural look, but I prefer the look of a nice clump of daffodils that are the same size, color, and shape. So that's how we're gonna do it. If you don't know which way to plant a daffodil, the pointy side is the side that you want to have going up and the bottom where you see those little dried up roots is going to go down. So we have gotten our Ice Follies daffodils planted over in this area. So this area will have the kind of white with the light yellow and the taller daffodils in it. And then as you come down here towards the Pieris and in this area we are going to have the double Narcissus that are the double Tahiti blooms that are going to be absolutely stunning. So totally worth it to get these in the ground this time of year so that you have a gorgeous spring. Now we're going to be come through, coming through soon and cleaning up this garden bed so that it looks really nice. But rather than doing the cleanup before I planted the bulbs, I wanted to get those in first. So I hope you enjoyed this today and hope that you guys have some bulbs that you guys might have ordered to plant in your garden to make for a beautiful spring display. What are you guys planning to plant this fall? I have lots more that are coming. I've got some, um, I think I have 
some snowdrops. I think that I have some crocuses. Um, I'm not sure what else I have in my box, but I've got a box full of more bulbs that we'll get to planting soon and I will share that with you as well. Well, thanks so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time. Bye!